Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is Master Data Management, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Access and Use Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll cover the basics of master data management, including ETL, or Extract, Transform, and Load, versioning, data migration, and data fusion. Master data management is the practice of creating and maintaining a consistent and accurate list of information that's regarded as the source of authority in your organization. Encompassing technology tools and processes, it's what allows different applications and users to leverage a single source of trusted data that can be centrally and thus efficiently managed and controlled. Agreeing on and establishing that single source of trusted data is no easy task, not in the least because success in that regard is more often choked by internal politics than it is by technology. The goal is to get master data management to become an ongoing process, and the best way to do that is to develop and enforce policies and processes about what and how data is collected. It's absolutely essential that this be done, and done early in your strategy process, to guard against the result becoming diffuse, or for your initiative to establish an unequivocal touchstone becoming ineffective. Master data management is not for the faint of heart, because it involves such intense scrutiny of so many data and document types and the repositories in which they reside. For example, MDM guru David Lotion once offered up this example. David Lotion purchased seat 15B on U.S. Airways Flight 238 from Baltimore to San Francisco on July 20, 2006. Now, embedded within this statement are several data objects. Customer, David Lotion. Product, seat 15B. Flight, 238. Location, Baltimore. Another location, San Francisco. Imagine, though, that the airline he flew on got bought by another but their data object equivalents were not customer, but passenger, not product, but seat, and not locations, but departure and arrival cities. See what I mean? Same essential data objects, but different terminology, and only one can be blessed as being right. The Data Warehouse Institute, or TDWI, confirms this complexity by reporting that most MDM solutions are homegrown and require five tools or platforms, usually from multiple vendors. These tools generally distill down into these. Database management systems for maintaining the data itself. Data integration platforms to foster communication among databases. Metadata management repositories for codifying and reconciling terms used to describe the data elements. Data modeling tools to facilitate analysis and tools for integrating MDM with operational applications to make the data accessible to and usable by line-of-business software. Peel back a layer and you'll find that a number of specific utilities are nearly always required to do the MDM dance. Perhaps chief among these is the one labeled ETL, which stands for Extract, Transform, and Load, and is used to clean, convert, and merge source data. Extraction is the removal of information from one or more sources of any kind. For example, databases, unstructured data, XML documents, packaged applications like SAP or PeopleSoft, and so forth. Transformation refers to the cleansing, reformatting, and standardization of that information according to business rules and organizational consensus. These functions, by the way, are covered in the business intelligence module of this course. Loading is the insertion of the resulting data set into specified target systems or file formats. Now, hardly any kind of data management initiative worthy of the name takes place without ETL, and choices abound in terms of the tools needed for its execution. 
Versioning is also commonly used because of the need to track changes made to data. To revert to previous versions if new ones are released prematurely or mistakes are made, or to satisfy audit requirements. For instance, a life insurance carrier may wish to know not only whom a customer named as a beneficiary, but also who was named before that, and when the change was made. Researching this requires that historical information has remained available, as do principles of good data stewardship, governance, and compliance. Data migration is the process of transferring data between storage types, formats, or computer systems. It's usually performed programmatically so it can be automated, but success here depends on the quality of the ETL, versioning, and other work that's come before, and it nearly always requires some level of human involvement. Migration usually takes place as part of a system change or upgrade, or during consolidation after an acquisition is made. Issues here include matching storage types, formats, and systems, and the results are generally subjected to data verification to ensure the data came over accurately and completely, and that the business processes that rely on it work properly. Data fusion distills data from multiple sources so higher quality inferences can be drawn than when using a single source. As a matter of practical fact, this boils down to data integration, which simply merges data, followed by data reduction or replacement, which results in a smaller data set, albeit one in which users have a great deal more confidence. This module has reviewed the basics of master data management, including ETL, or Extract, Transform, and Load, versioning, data migration, and data fusion. These functions are all aimed at creating a clean base of data that's been optimized to support quality decision making. They're the foundation of any kind of reporting or analysis you may wish to do, and care must be taken that corners are not cut simply because doing so represents a path of lesser resistance. Having completed this module, you may next wish to review the one on data and information types. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctor test consists of a hundred multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.